Right now, our content view has this fetch request property. And it's used down in the body with this text view. To bring this screen to life, we're going to replace that text view with a list showing all the books that have been added, along with their rating and author. Now, we could just use the same star rating view here that we made earlier, but it's much more fun to try something else. Whereas the rating view control can be used in any kind of project, we can make a new emoji rating view that displays a rating specific to this project. All it'll do is show one of five different emoji depending on the rating. And it's a great example of how straightforward view composition is in Swift UI. It's so easy to just pull out a small part of your views in this way. So, make a new Swift UI view called Emoji Rating View and give it the following code. Let rating in 16. Switch rating, case 1. Return a sleeping face. Case 2. Return an unhappy face. Case 3, return a meh face. Case 4, return a happy face. And case 5, return a really happy face. And down the previews, we'll pass in the rating of 3 for the preview. Now notice how we specifically used int16, which makes interfacing with core data easier. And that's the entire view done. It really is that simple. Now we can return to content view and do a first part of its UI. This will replace the existing text view with a list and a for each over books. For the for each identifier, we can actually use backslash dot self so it uses the whole object as the identifier. But things are trickier when it comes to creating views inside the for each. You see, all the properties of our core data entity are optional, which means we have to make heavy use of nil coalescing in order to make our code work. We'll look at an alternative to this soon, but for now we'll just be scattering nil coalescing around. Inside the list, we're going to have a navigation link that will eventually point to a detail view. And inside that, we'll have our new emoji rating view, plus the book's title and author. So, replace the existing text view with this. List, for each, books, ID backslash dot self book in navigation link destination the text of book dot title or unknown title then emoji rating view rating book dot rating dot font dot large title then a v stack with alignment leading then the book's title or unknown title in a headline font Then the book's author, or unknown author, with a secondary foreground color. We'll come back to this screen soon enough, but first let's build the detail view. 